It's about time you showed up. I was starting to get lonely out here by myself. So you're the big shot that Kaisar put in charge of this mission. I've heard about you. You've got quite the reputation already. Well, let's get down to business. Once we get started, we're going to be on a tight schedule. Are you ready to do this? Good. Now Kimball is scheduled to give his speech tomorrow. We'll rest here tonight and talk over the plan first thing in the morning. Get some sleep. You've got a big day ahead of you. Rise and shine. You have a big day ahead of you. So, do you have a plan for how you're going to kill Kimball? Prepared already. I like it. There's no need to give me the details. It is probably best that way. Even though you already have a plan, I may have some information that you might find useful. I've been spying in the dam for quite a while now. I've gathered quite a bit of information from various sources. Suggestions, eh? I'd suggest you play to your strengths. There's probably plenty of ways to kill Kimball. Just find one that works best for you. We'll have a few hours before he arrives. You should look around and see if you can find anything that you can use. Just be careful. You don't want to cause a scene before Kimball even shows up. I've been able to get some basic information on the schedule for Kimball's visit, as well as getting some rough security details. The president is scheduled to arrive sometime in the afternoon. It's going to be a short visit to boost morale for the NCR troops. He's going to arrive, give a speech, and then leave. No meet and greet, no questions, just a quick in and out. They're probably afraid something is going to happen. For good reason. I wasn't able to find a final itinerary for his visit, but if you can find one, you can get more details on what's going to happen. Security is going to be tight. Rangers are stationed all around the observation deck where Kimball is going to give his speech. Security is led by a Ranger Grant. He's a pretty rough guy who's seen a lot of combat. It's best if you steer clear of him. The crowd consists of troopers and a few select civilians who are lucky enough to bribe their way in. They shouldn't cause much trouble for you. Finally, there's the additional security that Kimball will be bringing with him. I wasn't able to find out much on that. If I had more time in their computers, I could have accessed the full duty roster and guard deployment. Maybe you'll have better luck. Okay, what would you like to know? I have some disguises for us. I've already got mine. A wealthy Brahmin baron who bribed his way into seeing the president. As for you, I have a NCR trooper uniform that I acquired. It'll fool most of the troopers and civilians, but it probably won't fool the rangers. Well, I have a bomb here that can be put on the vertebrae that will detonate at a certain altitude. But it's a little unstable and dangerous. Here you go. Put it to good use. If there's nothing else, then we should get moving. You're the boss. I'll be in the crowd. Do whatever you need to do, then find me before Kimball arrives. Here's your disguise. This'll get you past most of the NCR there, but watch out for the Rangers. Odds are this won't fool them. I'll meet you there. Good luck.
Have you seen my helmet? I can't seem to find it. That's too bad. I need it for the ceremony. I need to look my best. And I need my lucky helmet. I'll just have to keep looking. Thanks anyway. I haven't found my lucky helmet yet. He's coming to give a big fancy speech to all us troops stationed here at the dam. I'm pretty excited. He seems like such a nice guy, and I get to meet him. He's giving me a medal. I don't know why, though. I'm just doing my job like all the other guys. I'm still excited, though. Mama always told me not to talk to strangers. But you seem like a nice person. Mama left me on a farm when she went out prospecting. But when she never came back, the owner didn't want me around. He kicked me out on my own. A nice guy came up and asked me if I wanted to join the NCR, so I did. Now the troopers are my family. I like it here. Everyone is so nice. It's always in the last place you look. I wonder why that is. Thanks, mister. You're the greatest. Make it quick. We don't have much time. Good timing. Looks like his vertebrate is arriving early. Here it comes now. I hope you're up for this, because we won't get a second chance.
What is it? They're based out of the old fort in Freeside. They supposedly helped the NCR out at some point, but they go their own way now. They know stuff about tech and medicine and usually help out anybody who asks. Can't say I know any more than that. Carry on. You showed up just in time to say goodbye. Me and a couple of the others are packing it in and heading back to California. The water ration's still a problem, and the NCR doesn't look like it's going to do anything about it anytime soon. I hear the Brahmin ranchers out in Redding are looking for some hard workers, so I might try there first. I hate working with Brahmin, though. I wouldn't be able to meet the quota, and the NCR would kick me out of my job anyway. Nah, it's better I get out on my own terms. Adios. What is it? The Office of Science and Industry has carefully calculated the amount of water needed for these crops. The whole thing is handled by computer. Besides, most of these crops look fine to me. If the farmers can't handle the job, they shouldn't have signed up in the first place. If there really is a problem, they could take it up with Lieutenant Boyd at McCarran. Farming isn't my department. Carry on. <laughs> 